All right, hello again. This is Philip at the best 3 dcom and uh, in this quick tutorial, um, I want to cover some of the tools um, that are not only in Howler. This is a section or a page that was uh, initially written for PD Howler, but uh, it's actually also on PD Artist and also usable on PD Particles, the new version, Particle 9. Um, and the topic here is uh, mirror versus symmetry. So there are um, some ways to draw some symmetrical shapes, which is particularly useful if you draw things like uh, people's faces or animals and monsters. And um, you'll see that um, <coughs> uh, of, of particular interest, um, not only with regular brushes, but also with uh, the curve tool. And so I, I'd like to actually kind of... Uh, combine a couple of those. But before we dive in, I wanted to show some of the differences. Um, here is a, an illustration of what the symmetry mode is and what the uh, mirror mode is. Uh, when, when you do the mirror mode, imagine you have a vertical separation line here, a symmetrical line around which what you draw, uh, perhaps you draw the right side here, um, is automatically mirrored to the other side and it's a, a mirror copy. Right, so it's after the fact. It's actually drawing only on the right side. You're drawing only on the right side, and then it flips over a copy to the other side. It's doing that on the fly. Um, here on the on this side with the symmetry mode, it's a little bit different. And as you're drawing, it is deciding to put a couple of dabs of the brush on the right side, and then switches over to the left side and continues there and then switches to the right and then to the left again. And so it's constantly back and forth. And as a result of it, it's not an identical copy and it's not the exact same image. <clears throat> now the dabs here were somewhat separated with a large step distance so that you can really identify them and see them. But if you think about using a brush that's doing uh, maybe a little bit of smearing or just has the dabs a little bit closer together, still, uh, especially if you have some random position to it, the, the way it looks on the right half of uh, this uh, brush stroke will be somewhat different, but also somewhat similar. And that's what's useful in a couple of places, such as when drawing faces, and you don't want them to be exactly identical. Now, of course, the eyes will get special attention, and you draw them without the symmetrical feature enabled or without the mirroring enabled. But the many other shapes, many other parts of the face, you could possibly benefit from enabling that mirror mode and just draw one half of the face and have the other one show up at the same time but not exactly looking identical so it kind of looks like you also drew that one individually as well so <clears throat> let's see what other uh, side effect you could get from uh, either using the mirror mode or using the symmetry mode <clears throat> one is with the symmetry mode it is actually redrawing that same thing over here and um, for instance, if you have a, a drop shadow enabled on the brush as a post effects, that drop shadow is being re-rendered every time here as well. Whereas over here, if you do the mirror, it has mirrored the resulting image that's here and the shadow switches over to the other side because it's not rendering the shadow anymore. It's just flipping the entire image containing the object and the shadow. So those are some of the subtle but potentially important differences. Um, now here's some example of uh, maybe a little snow monster or whatever we want to call it. <clears throat> and um, you can see that uh, if you do the mirror mode or if you do the symmetry mode, they look very similar, but they can be slightly different. And uh, I don't know if you'll find one. I mean, this one here is the mirror mode. So this one is identical. You can see the right side here by the eyes or the eye lids or the eye brows. Uh, it's all identical and a, a, a total symmetry copy. Whereas if you go over here, uh, it is quite likely you'll see some subtle differences. Like for instance, you see here, um, let's zoom in here. Uh, you see this little spike here around the, near the foot? It's a different spike over here. It's not quite exactly the same. This one here also is kind of coming down nice and slow, almost like a vertical. This one here has a little bump. So that's the subtle differences you'll see if you use symmetry mode versus uh, just the plain mirror mode. And, and both really have their <laughs> advantages and their, um, their benefits uh, and their place in the universe. And there is also another mode called the kaleidoscope mode uh, in which it's not drawing just one 
image on the other side of the vertical bar, but it's actually drawing a few along the various spokes. And so there are, those are um, interesting for patterns or for abstract art or for some other oddities. Um, there is also uh, an example here on symmetrical painting and there's some videos on our YouTube channel that you can also uh, explore to further understand some examples. So basically, you know, if you, if you draw any of these types of characters, whether it's for your game, maybe some monsters uh, to learn to control your nightmares, uh, <laughs> or whether you just have a, a vivid recollection of your neighbor before he went to jail, uh, <laughs> you... <laughs> You, uh, you have uh, some interesting features there with the symmetrical painting and uh, I wanted to just show you some of those. So let's go and uh, explore. I'm going to use Particle 9 here because I wanted to show that you can do that also with uh, the, this entry level version of Dog Waffle. Um, and so uh, essentially we'll be using the brushes to paint. Um, and uh, let's take for instance some of the smear brushes here under the oils collection. Um, they're totally oil. Right? So what that does is it, it smears things around. Let's hit the space bar to get a different color. Get some blue space bar again. Get some green, red, and so on. All right, so this is all over the map. And now let's see what we can do first with mirror. The mirror copy will essentially go along the vertical bar and flip the right half over to the left half. So you notice right now there is some blue here, but there's nothing blue here. Right. And if I go to this tool inside the context bar, you'll see an option for uh, symmetry. Right There it is, the symmetry tool. There will be a couple of options. You can clear the symmetry if you have something enabled already. Or you can go and turn it into others. So first let's try the bottom here, horizontal mirror. That will throw a vertical bar, a vertical symmetry line, and horizontally or sideways grab the right half and flip it over to the other side and there it is right, so now that blue part is over here on the left side as well but as you keep drawing it keeps doing that so as you're drawing like this it keeps smearing it keeps painting and everything like that all right so let's go stop this clear it rather and draw some sort of a face uh, you have to see where the vertical line here is uh, in fact you can probably enable some helpers and uh, grids and uh, reference lines. Uh, I don't remember if you have that in uh, PD Particle, but <clears throat> it's uh, maybe under the view menu. Uh, there might be some other options, but in, um, yeah, I don't, I don't see it here. So in, in, uh, in uh, PD Artist or PD R uh, Howler, you can actually enable showing a vertical bar here. Uh, it might be here actually, come to think of it. Uh, there's a set center. Right, where you can actually set the center and say, okay, let's go over here. And then the symmetry is, well, it's not affected here. Okay, so that's not for the symmetry mode. It's for, uh, it's not for the mirror mode. It is for the symmetry mode, I think. And for the kaleidoscope mode. So let, we'll get back to that in a second. Let's go first draw. So one thing we have to remember is that the drawing is on the right half of the picture. And uh, let's say we want to do uh, some sort of a skull. <coughs> uh, skull head pirate head and just draw something like this and then <clears throat> something like this and then give him a little bit of a nose and you see how this can quickly create um, a, a nice symmetrical um, picture right and and all it took is you know a couple of brush strokes uh, the second half was done automatically, but it's a total symmetry copy of the other side. It's a mirror copy, really, to coin the right term here. So that's one way to do this. And I'm going to go store this one uh, into a quick stored copy. Um, so let's go do uh, another way. And that's um, instead of the horizontal mirror, we can also do vertical mirror. And we can do both, right? both at the same time. So now it's the upper right quadrant that we painted. All right, so if we paint anything here, you'll see it's doing both the symmetrical, I mean the mirror copy horizontally and vertically. And if we draw outside of that upper right quadrant, like here in this lower right side or lower left or lower right, nothing's appearing. Only when you go into the upper right quadrant, 
that's the one it's working from, right? Hit spacebar for another color. There it is. <laughs> and uh, so that's that's uh, another interesting mode if you want to create some fancy patterns of some sorts. Um, let's go over now to the mirror mode. And uh, oh, the, that was the mirror mode. Let's go clear that and then um, go to the symmetry mode. All right. So we have now. I'm going to do the horizontal symmetry. And for that one, um, let's start with the default. Ah, it's actually showing us the line, right? Because I had tried that recenter thing initially. Now, so here it's 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 using this line. It's showing this line, and it's using a symmetry around that. But it's a little bit different from the mirror mode, right? Whereas in the mirror mode, uh, horizontal mirror, uh, everything you paint is relative to the center line in the middle. Um, it's mirroring an exact copy to the other side.